close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to be with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Start with a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. And then allow the breathing to find a rhythm that feels comfortable, just right. Heavy enough so you can detect it, but not so heavy that it feels burdensome. You can try shorter breathing, longer, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Get a sense of what the body needs right now in terms of the breath, because the breath is one of the things that keeps the body going. In fact, without the breath, we'd be dead. You give the body all kinds of food, all kinds of other things, but if there's no breath, that's there's no point to it. So the breath is the force of life, and it only stands to reason that if the force of life doesn't feel good in the body, then there's something wrong. You can change it. It's one of the few bodily processes that you actually have some direct control over. So take advantage of that fact. If you're staying here, don't feel deprived that you're not thinking about other things. Tell yourself you're exploring something new in the body, how the energy of the breath can make the body feel different. When the body feels better from the breath, then it's a lot easier for the mind to settle down in the present. We want to be here because there's a lot going on in the present moment. You're making all kinds of decisions right now, some of which you're conscious of, some of which you're not. And so it's unconscious decisions you've got to watch out for. Because we all want happiness, but sometimes we end up making decisions that lead to suffering, lead to pain, lead to stress. And we wonder why. It's because we're not here when the decisions are being made. We've delegated authority to somebody else. Some other nerve synapse inside the brain. And they don't care about anything at all. They just do whatever they want to do. So you want to be there to make sure that the decisions that are being made are wise decisions. Decisions that are for the sake of long-term happiness, long-term well-being. So that means you have to be fully aware of the present moment. And the breath is a good way to do that, because there's no future breath that you can watch, no past breath you can watch. When you're watching the breath, you're in the present, and your mind is right there. So what makes a decision to slip off, you can notice, oh, this is how the mind makes these little decisions that you don't notice otherwise. This puts you more in control. So as the Buddha said, you can think the thoughts you don't want to you think the thoughts that you want to think and don't think the thoughts you don't want to think. Otherwise, you're the slave of whatever comes up in the mind. So for the sake of your freedom, learn how to be here while the decisions are being made. And then you can bring as much wisdom and discernment to those decisions as you can. And you find that your life changes, your inner life and your outer life. So take advantage of this fact that you can make a change. You can lead the decisions of the present moment in a skillful direction. But you've got to be here to do that, and this is why we focus on the breath. The more, <clears throat> the more solidly you can stay here, the more likely you are to make those good decisions, the more you can see. So try to practice this every day, because the well-being of your mind, the well-being of your life really depends on it.